Hi there, Larry Ann here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Today I am working on yet another food inspired soap, pizza. Uh, pizza Supreme to be exact. And yes, it does smell like pizza. I've already added color stabilizer to the fragrance oil and I have mixed my colors. I used red, yellow, and orange for the sauce color. And I'm adding a little bit of that mocha brown and that uh, beige color to make the dough. I'm gonna put a little bit of that white in there to help with the dough color. And just in case you're wondering, lately I've been taking a little bit of the oil before I add the lye water solution to the oils. I've been taking a little bit of the oils out and mixing that with the mica colorants. And I just find that that helps blend into the soap better, a little bit easier. Adding a little fragrance oil to this beige colored soap, which will be the dough, and the rest of the fragrance oil will go into the red colored soap. My camera turned off on me and didn't record that part. Adding a little bit of shredded soap for the cheese, and I do spray it with 99% isopropyl alcohol, which just helps it stick. Ooh, and now for the toppings. Here's some pepperoni. I have some black olives, green pepper, and some mushrooms, all made with soap dough. I will leave a video linked below with how I make soap dough. And in case you're wondering how I made these embeds, I will show you right now. That was fun. 
And just in case you're wondering, I was using potato starch. That's what I was sprinkling on the surface and on the wooden dowel so that the soap dough wouldn't stick. It's time to see what's... Oh. No. I don't have any embeds to put on the top of the soap today. <laughs> Whoa. That is not ready to pipe. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. And now another episode of the mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. Two days later, time to cut the soap. I will have to fill in the holes of the olives uh, later on. I knew that going in that I was going to have to do that, but I do believe that I like this soap better than I like the sushi soap. Well, I do believe that I, for now, am done with food-inspired soaps. I know that Heather asked me to remake the banana split soap, and I promise I will remake that one soon. Um, Ship758 asked if I could make some cupcake soaps. So I think I'm going to start working on those next, okay? As always, thank you so very much for watching. I really, really appreciate you taking your time to watch my videos. It means a lot. Feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.